Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 27th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Taurus, and we're going to do basically a Celtic cross. Yes, I understand that this is not how you lay out a Celtic cross, but uh, this is where, how we're going to do it. And we're just going to see what comes up for you here, Taurus. Uh, also, this is going to be part one. There will be a part two of this reading, kind of like a free extended. And I will have that linked up down below for you to watch uh, whenever you want. But it's basically like a midweek update. This is a little experiment I'm trying, Taurus. But you come up in your current general energies as the two of cups here. I like this. For you, I also, I love that you end as the Empress, and uh, which is really nice. <laughs> so there's definitely some good energy coming in for you here. I think it's been a long, bumpy road. I have that song popping into my head here, by the way, and it's kind of coming up here, uh, just right here on this Eight of Cups for some reason. I actually like the Eight of Cups personally. To me, it's actually a good card um, because it's like you're walking away from things that no longer serve you, but I think it's been you know, a long, bumpy road. It's also interesting to me that uh, pretty much everyone's reading that I've been doing, there's been a lot of this like sunrise type of energy is what I would call it. You have the death card, which we'll talk about. You have the empress, uh, page of pentacles as well. These are what I would describe as like, kind, they can be cards that kind of symbolize like the rebirth basically, or, you know, um, some the sun coming up. And I feel that energy for you more than anyone else here, Taurus. So I like to see that. Uh, I feel like this is talking about communication being very, very important for you at this time as well. The Two of Cups could be love coming in for you, which there's definitely love here, Taurus, but uh, it could also just be like communication. The Staff of Hermes is between these two people right here. And the staff represents you communicating and how you communicate. I kind of feel like it's like how you, you know, to me, the two of cups can represent you and your higher self. So it's the words that you're using on yourself. It's the words that you say to yourself every single day. And I would be very careful of your words here. Uh, next, your crossing energy is the six of swords. Uh, fearing the sacrifice is the words that are popping into my head here for the six of swords. The reason the six of swords represents a sacrifice, kind of, is because these two people, this mother and her child here on the card in this boat, they are leaving behind everything that they have known. They ha are leaving behind their whole entire life for a new beginning. So they're making a big sacrifice. That's why it represents a sacrifice. It can also represent baggage as well because again, they're leaving behind everything, their home. They're leaving behind everything to get to the other side. A lot of people read the child as baggage, which is wrong. <laughs> so uh, the baggage is the fact that they're leaving everything behind and moving on to calmer shores. They're kind of hoping, you know, it's there's a lot of hope involved with the Six of Swords because they don't really know what's on the other side. Uh, lucky for them, they are being guided by this guy right here. He represents a guide. He represents a guide or just a person who goes back and forth between choppy waters. For you, I feel you are being guided kind of by your guides, your mentors, your, your ancestors, whatever you want to call it. And that is, those are the people that are kind of like pushing you to the other side. If you're making a big scary change right now, which it seems like a lot of people are, then I would say there's a lot of abundance, success, empress energy in some sort of change that you are undergoing. Uh, next in the area of your thoughts, you have the page of pentacles. Yeah, you're thinking about something new. You know, he's looking at that pentacle. He, it, to me, the page of pentacles on a very simple level is a card of new beginnings. You have the death card next. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So I feel you are very focused on new beginnings or having some sort of new beginning uh, in your life here, Taurus. And it's going to be very good for you with this page of pentacles. I would also, with the pages, you have two pages here. I would learn as much as you possibly can about anything new that you are starting with the Page of Pentacles. Next, in the area of your current foundation, you have this king. Uh, you, you have this death card. What I was going to say is that the king is the thing that is standing out to me. You can see that the king is dead right here underneath the Death Rider. It represents the fact that nothing is immune to change. It says that we are always undergoing changes and even a king can die. It's like nothing is immune to changing or you know experiencing some sort of transformation. I feel the, I'm also really focused on this. This is a white rose on his flag here. And the white rose represents the, the 
kind of light in the dark on the death card. It says that, you know, even the tiniest little pinprick of light will chase away the darkness. So if you can, for some of you, I kind of feel like you need to focus on joy and happiness, which is the light, and that, that will chase away anything that is dark in your life. For others, I mean, there's this child right here. I'll show you on this camera. There's a child who is p putting flowers up to the Death Rider. It kind of represents the fact that children are not afraid of change. Children are not afraid to undergo a change, transformation. They're not afraid to try new things. And usually they're very excited by something new. I would change your feelings here. And especially here with the Two of Cups to the Death card. Look at this top row. Very good <laughs> is what I would say. Uh, Two of Cups, Death card, Eight of Cups, walking away, but Empress. It's literally just saying, if you focus on joy, happiness, and all those other things, you're going to experience Empress, glow up vibes, whatever you want to call it. Next in the area of your past, you have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups says, allow your imagination to run wild. The Page of Cups is a card of love. Some of you could be moving away from a past person. I would be careful of this. The Knight of Swords going towards the Page of Cups in this row. To me, the Knight of Swords could be like, Sometimes I think when we just withdraw all our energy from a person, it doesn't even have to be a lover. I feel for some of you, it could be love, but for others, it could just be a person that you're pulling your energy away from. Usually when we do that, that's when people you know, try to come back in and charge right back into our lives. So if you're dealing with a person who causes conflict with the five of wands, then what I would say is I would avoid that person at all cost <laughs> with that knight of swords. The Knight of Swords could also be you just running back to your imagination, which I think is exactly what this reading is saying. It is saying all of your answers are in your imagination. <laughs> and that's what this reading is saying. So I, you need to, you know, I, I don't know. I, I would say before you go to bed, before you fall asleep at night, maybe allow your imagination to run wild. Who knows where it's going to take you. But uh, that's one of my favorite techniques is to, you know, think about the things that I desire to have in my life right before I go to sleep. That is like when you're in the highest vibration almost um a lot of people who talk about manifestation that is what they do and i always tell people people always say manifestation doesn't work i'm like well how about this it's free why not just try it, it you know, if nothing else makes you feel good so why not just try it right and this whole entire reading is saying you need to feel good <laughs> so let, let's pretend it doesn't work i would just do it anyway because this reading is asking you to focus on joy and happiness and all those other things uh, next, you have in the near future, the two of wands. I really feel you need, like everybody else right now, for whatever reason, I feel like you need to get moving. He has this wand behind him. It says that something from the past is complete, and he's grabbing onto this front wand over here, and he has the whole world in his hands. It kind of says, like, he is ready for a transformation. He is ready for a transition, a change. He's ready to experience new things, a new world. So a lot of you, this is saying you need to experience like the new world. I feel you need to get out there and experience new things in your life. Uh, next, in the area of the next few months, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, a lot of this like cutting out the crap energy here with the Eight of Cups. It wouldn't really surprise me if you were just, you know, removing uh, things that no longer serve you. It's like when we demand our true worth, Empress, that's exactly what we get. It's like sometimes I think if we're experiencing a lack of something or if we're experiencing resistance in any area of our life, it's because we're settling for less. It's when we demand from the universe that we get what we're, you know, our worth, our value, whatever, and we walk away from things that no longer serve us. If we walk away from the things that drag us down, then kind of the universe opens up. And that's what I feel is going on here for you, Taurus, now that we're at the Eight of Cups. I feel the universe is kind of really opening up to you. The universe is offering you opportunity and things things along those lines as well. Uh, next in your closest relationships, you have the Knight of Swords. Like I said, I would be careful of that pushy, pushy energy with the Knight of Swords. To me, he's very pushy. He can try to for he he is forcing things to happen in his life as well. For some of you, this is a person in your life that you could be cutting out. So it could be a past person, past lover whatever. It could also just be a person that you know. <laughs> but if you're experiencing any of that rushy, rushy, pushy, pushy type of energy, I would be very careful with the Knight of Swords. He's trying to force something to happen. I mean, look at that horse. The horse looks extremely stressed out on this card. So it's a card of like needing to not necessarily slow things down. He just needs to work smarter, not harder. And that is also popping into my head. But for most of you coming up in the area of your closest relationships, I also he also has these like bluebirds. It's going to be very hard for you to see probably. I don't know if they're going to show up. But he has these bluebirds on his cloak here, uh, right there. 
Taurus. You know, bluebirds are like animals of joy and happiness. So more symbolism that is really saying you need to focus on joy and happiness. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the five of wands here. Five of wands is a card of feeling conflicted or be, you know, being conflicted in some ways. It doesn't really surprise me with that knight of swords. You could be conflicted about walking away from a person or people, multiple people in your life. Doesn't really also surprise me because you're an earth sign. I feel like all earth signs seem to be going through this like transition as far as their closest relationships are concerned. And again, that could bring up some conflict. The other thing here is if I if, if I were you, Taurus, I, it's almost like I've been saying this to you all year, <laughs> all of 2021. I feel like in 2022, there's like a really good chance for you where you could skip, like I feel like you could almost skip ahead, you know, or you could just like cut out the middle of something, which is a very weird uh, energy to I, like to describe what I'm feeling here. It's like, you know, but what I, what I, like what I always think about is YouTube because this is what I do all day long. But it's like if you look at some people, you look at the beginning of the channel and then you look at where they are right now, they're completely different on camera. And, you know, it seems like the seven year mark for a lot of YouTubers. It's like you look at the beginning to seven years. It's like they're totally different in a good way. Right. They've gotten comfortable on camera and all that other stuff. But it's like, can you cut out the middle? Can you just step into that energy? It's like it already exists because, you know, there is no time, basically. So it's like, the, you know, it already that energy already exists. If you're trying to do anything, start a YouTube channel, find a career or, um, you know, become a leader, or start a blog, whatever it is that you're doing. There's something here with your identity with the five wands. The conflict is just your inner voice, I feel, especially with this right here, the two of cups, page of cups to this five of wands. You're just like, am I imagining that I'm really this good? Your outcome, Empress. Uh, the answer is yes, Taurus, duh. You, you, you are the Empress. You are kind of the abundant one. You are the creator. And I feel you need to realize that with the Empress. I feel like you just need to act as if you already are something and then you will be that thing. Plain, I know that sounds crazy simple, but I, I think that there are some shortcuts that you could take to do that. Like maybe practicing in a mirror if you're trying to do something or I don't know, it's gonna be different for all of you. Writing affirmations, uh, just telling yourself all day long that you are whatever the thing is that you want to be. It's kind of like a shortcut. Kind of. I don't really feel like it's a shortcut because here's the thing. You've earned this. Um, I always like to remind people that it's like you've been clearly, as I said at the beginning of the reading, this is something you've been working towards for a very long period of time. Uh, at the end here, I just pull one of these from the Wisdom of the Oracle. You have the this card here, which says Mending. You, I feel that you are healing a lot of things inside of you, especially with that Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a card of conflict and competition, but these people are training. They are learning how to fight. They're not like killing each other with these swords. I mean, with swords in general. So this to me is saying that you could be healing. I, I feel you're healing on a personal level inside yourself. And this is what is going to cause the universe to open up for you here, Taurus. So amazing reading. Looks really good. Thank you for being here, Taurus. Make sure to check out part two linked up down below. And uh, we're going to clarify this reading and take it a little bit deeper. It's like your midweek update. And we're going to see if there are any additional details that want to come up for you. But thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.